that's my challenge to you. If you don't make a game, you have to read Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand, and, and you'll suffer from it. Yeah, and you won't you won't be able to. So oh, it's man. not a good book. I don't know that I've ever been more wrong in my entire life. I was like, ah, I don't know. This may not be the greatest question. You know, we're kind of winding down here. Pff, great question. Ten out of ten, nailed it. Oh, to take the Ayn Rand game design challenge. Yeah, right. Make like, a game or read Atlas Shrugged. You say that, but like. I think in those questions you asked me if there was any if there was any books or anything oh, that I yeah, could recommend yeah, yeah. to help with game design. I didn't really have a good answer there. I think I, I said you know find influences outside of gaming, mm -hmm. uh, which is a good answer, and that's a big yes. part of what I do. But there is one book that I was I didn't want to name drop, but it, it did help me initially to make to commercially release my first game. Mm. Uh, so it's Atlas Shrugged, which oh. is a by Ayn Rand. It's a terrible book. It's a piece of okay, crap. It's okay. absolute right. hot garbage. So Thank let me you. let me just say that right away. Okay. Atlas Shrugged sucks. Ayn Rand sucks. Okay. That book enables billionaires to continue, you know, mining the earth of everything that's good about it mm -hmm. uh, and keeping it for themselves. That being said, yeah. as a fantasy book, it is well written. And there's a meme that compares Lord of the Rings and Atlas Shrugged, and it's like one's a great fantasy book, and the other one is blah blah blah. And it, versus them. But anyway, mm -hmm. but I like I like the fantasy writing because the world that it exists is not the real world. Like it doesn't take into you know, it, it claims to have, you know, the answer for, you know, everything. Yeah. But it doesn't take into account, you know, that children exist and you know things like that. Like sure. there's a lot of obvious flaws. Um so as a fantasy book, I, I like how it's written, except for the one hundred page John Galt speech. That sucks, but it is a you know eleven hundred page book or whatever. Yeah. But when I finished it, I absolutely wanted to work harder than I've ever worked in my life. And, you know, you know that, that definitely stuck with me. So if you want to drill it into your brain to work hard, it's a good book to read. Even though the protagonist starts off a millionaire owning a train company. Right. That doesn't matter. You know, just another yeah. of the many flaws. Sure, right, But, right. Uh, you know, and because it, it was Bioshock. I was playing Bioshock. And it was like Andrew Ryan was based off of Ayn Rand. But Andrew Ryan was the villain. And I wasn't picking that up when I was reading the book. And yeah. uh, I was like, oh, this is a great book. I love this book. I want to work so hard. Right. Um, and uh, and then, you know, as the years passed, I'm like, oh, okay. Oh. That's that's kind of the reputation that it has. So, um, yeah, so that, that worked for me, but it probably won't work for anyone else. I don't know. You'd have to read an 1,100-page book. That's work unto itself. It's probably easier to just make a game. <laughs> so that's... here, here, that, that's my challenge to you. If you don't make a game, you have to read Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. And, and you'll suffer from it. Yeah, and you won't you won't be able to. So, oh, it's man. not a good book. I don't know that I've ever been more wrong in my entire life. I was like, ah, I don't know. This may not be the greatest question. You know, we're kind of winding down here. Pfft, great question. Ten out of ten, nailed it. Oh, to take the Ayn Rand game design challenge. Yeah, right. Make like, a game or read Atlas Shrugged. You say that, but like. 